My mom told me that I have the best aim in Sea of Thieves, but because of that, my parents allowed me to stay up late and make a video about cannon accuracy, how to improve your aim, and never miss a shot. But before we start, this video is sponsored by all the pirates who do not run away and scuttle when we engage in battle. I would like to thank all of them on behalf of the Cannoneer community. There are many different cannons in Sea of Thieves, but that doesn't mean all cannons are equal. For example, the Glorious and the Triumphant Sea Dog cannons. These cannons are very similar to the Sailor cannons. As you can see, there's a nice scope on the top. One thing people don't like about these cannons are these feathers, but I like the appearance of them, they're very cool. Next, we have the Bill's Rack cannons. These cannons are also very similar to the Sailor cannons, which makes them good. As you can see, they have a slightly bigger scope on the top, but they're still pretty good. As you can see, if we aim for the birds... Yeah, that's a very, very nice shot. Cannons of the Sunken Sorrow. Personally, one of my favorites. As you can see, they have a nice scope on the top. Many people don't like these because they're very huge, but I like the appearance of them. As you can see, the colors and everything makes it kind of hard to shoot them, but still very very nice cannons. Legendary cannons, also one of my favorites. As you can see, these have a very very nice scope. They match very good with my flintlock as you can see. Triangle makes it very very easy to hit your shots. Silver plate cannons. As you can see, these cannons are very very nice looking. They're quite long, which makes it very easy for uh for you to shoot. Because uh the cannonballs are closer to your opponent's ship. As you can see, we can stand all the way back here to climb in the cannon. Of course you can stand here. But as you can see with the sailor cannons, we can climb into the cannon and mirror. And now we covered the basic info on good cannons and which cannons to actually use. Now I want to go into the deeper stuff, the nerdy stuff. First of all, cannonballs do 100 damage. Now, if we grab chain shots, these changes are quite different. As you may notice, the changes don't shoot as far as normal cannons. This makes it harder for you to hit your shots. Chain shots can be used to uh, take down your opponent's mast, which is very very strong. If you hit the wheel, the wheel will break and you will need 3 planks to repair it. If you hit the anchor, it's only gonna break once, so it's not very necessary. As you can see, that took quite a lot of time. Now I want to cover firebombs. Firebombs are very very strong, especially if you pour at someone and you firebomb them. You may notice also the blunder bombs. These bombs can also be shot with cannon, but these bombs are actually not very useful. As you may have noticed, I did a whole tutorial on blunder bombs, but that was just for a meme. I don't really like using these, and they're not very good in PvP. If you shoot them, you're gonna hit your opponents off the fucking cannon. But, of course, that's not very strong when you could just hit them with firebombs. Firebombs do some damage over time, which is very, very nice. Your opponent will need quite a lot of bananas to actually full heal if you get hit by a firebomb. As you can see, we actually need two whole bananas to fully heal. Train your cannon aim. If you just load up the game, we can actually shoot on the dock right here. Look, look, we can try aim for this red flag. I like doing this when I'm just kind of AFKing, 
and so I'm training like on, on this plane. You can also train on the trees. I like doing that as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's my uh, part one of uh, these five tutorials that I'm gonna make. I really hope you enjoyed these and uh, keep fussing. <laughs>